In starting strength, we have designed the execution of the bench press to generate the longest range of motion from lockout to the bar touching the chest so that the bar is pushed over the longest effective range of motion. And what we have noticed is that the best way to do this is to generate the grip width that produces a vertical forearms at the bottom of the bench press where the bar is touching the chest. Vertical forearms, if you'll draw this in your head, vertical forearms generate the longest range of motion. Uh, too close a grip pulls the elbows up, too wide a grip pulls the elbows up. And this is why powerlifting favors wide grip because it reduces the range of motion. They're not concerned with a long range of motion, they're concerned with lifting the most weight possible. We, on the other hand, are in, in general strength training are, are here to make you stronger over the longest possible range of motion. And we have determined an easy way for you to generate a vertical grip on a starting strength bar. If you'll notice this bar, there is a 16 and a half inch gap between the knurls on the outside. The center knurl, not, not counting, that whole entire space is 16 and a half inches. Now what we find with 95% of everybody that does this is if you will take a grip width that is one hand width wider than a grip taken on the edge of that knurl, then you will see that in 95% of the cases that grip width produces a vertical forearm when the bar is in contact with the chest at the bottom of the range of motion. Uh, smaller people have smaller hands and people with people who are smaller have narrower shoulders. People with big fat hands generally have wider shoulders. So this thing averages out pretty well to generate a vertical forearm for just almost everybody when you uh, touch the bar on the chest at the bottom range of motion of the bench. If you'll just keep this simple trick in mind, it minimizes uh, the amount of time it takes to determine what that grip is. In fact, we're suggesting that this rule be incorporated into powerlifting. And you might see a meet in the short upcoming future that features a, a bench press with a touch and go uh, that has a vertical forearm uh, as part of the judging for the grip width. So I hope this helps uh, get you to a, a correct starting strength grip width easily and every single time. Thanks for watching.